Hello Matadistas and thanks for joining us on today's interesting episode as we talk you through some very important updates at Real Madrid. Kickstarting on today's agenda, Kylian Mbappe renewing his contract with Paris Saint-Germain cannot be ruled out amid Real Madrid links. We are going to be talking you through that on this episode and shortly after that we will quickly turn our attention elsewhere as we are going to be talking about Real Madrid defender Eder Militao, who reportedly suffered from an LCL injury on the first match day of the 2023-24 La Liga campaign. Now, according to reports, Militao might be returning back in action as early as March due to the quick development in his injury problems. We're also going to be talking you through that on this episode, so stay tuned right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Follow us so you do not miss on our next update. Kylian Mbappe's future took an unexpected twist last summer when the young star opted to stay at Paris Saint-Germain despite his turbulent relationship with the ball. After all, he had announced his decision to not renew with the league one side and had set the situation well for us through a move to Real Madrid. Los Blancos have moved on from the Frenchman latest rejection and have found heroes in Jude Bellingham and Vinicius Jr. Yet they are keeping an eye on Mbappe situation in Paris Saint Germain and the development ahead of the next summer transfer window. According to reports from L'Equipe, the possibility of the, the possibility that Mbappe renewed his deal with Paris Saint-Germain cannot be ruled out. World has either he hopes to join Real Madrid on a free transfer next summer, but the situation is once again unclear. No significant progress is expected on the future of Mbappe before the first quarter of the 2024 season. The player is currently focused on his duties at Paris Saint-Germain and is not thinking about his future as of yet. Real Madrid are in the race, but Liverpool are beginning to get optimistic about their chances. Yet, it would be a surprise if the player left the French club for any other team than Los Blancos. According to reports earlier this week, this is the final summer that Real Madrid will entertain Kylian Mbappe's transfer. Once the 2024 summer passes by, they will omit his name from their wish list for, for their feel they have given enough chances for him to arrive. Even in the forthcoming windows, any movement must be initiated by the players' camp with the ball in their court. It remains to be seen how he steers his ship. Having concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention elsewhere as Real Madrid mainstay could return from ACL injury as early as March. Real Madrid have been tormented by injuries all season, right from Thibaut Courtois' ACL injury before the start of the campaign to the now Aurelian Tramini's foot fracture last week. The Merengues have been unable to catch a break with fitness issues. One key star ruled out for the long term is Edel Militao. Like the Belgian stop short stopper, the Brazilian defender suffered an ACL injury in the very first game of the season and was said to be ruled out for the entirety of the campaign. According to report from Jose Felix Diaz of Marca, there is more optimism than strikes the eye over Militao's situation. While the prognosis was indeed poor, there is optimism over his return this season. The Spanish journalist relays that in the best case scenario, Militao could return in action as early as March. It is suggested that the Brazilian international's recovery is going to be quite 
is going quite well and a return ahead of schedule could be on the cards. It would come as a much needed reinforcement to Carlo Ancelotti's defense where Antonio Rudiger and David Alaba in particular have been under severe pressure. As relayed last month, Militao's recovery is going ahead of schedule and much better than initially expected. He is hitting all deadlines set by the medical staff and is even close to starting a higher level of physiotherapy exercises. Los Blancos were remotely considering the, uh, the signing of Sporting Goncalo Ignacio earlier this month as a replacement for Eder Militao. Report went on to state that Florentino Perez had even given the operation the green light to be carried out in January for a fee of 60 million euros. However, soon enough, the rumors were dashed and as things stand, there is no plans to sign anybody in January, especially with Militao now closing in on an early return. So having concluded with that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. See you next time and Hala Madrid to us all.